Living, especially the, the Indopox and the audience here, we're living in a, in a, in a culture uh, for a couple of generations, the, the women almost have no rights at home. And we're actually marrying them into uh, slavery to the in-laws. I'm just going to say it like it is. There are cases of psychological abuse that are far worse than any kind of physical abuse that are happening in you know, what was supposed to be originally a big happy family, the joint family system, but has now turned into literally psychological torture for these poor women who marry into these homes and their lives are just given into serving you know, whoever. And they're actually forced, in many cases that I personally know of, they are forced to go to work and not a penny of what they earn they get to see themselves. And they are trapped in that situation because they feel that if they ask for anything, then they're going to, you know what they do? The in-laws, they call her parents and say, what kind of daughter did you raise? Right? And so they, she doesn't want to hear it from her own parents because she doesn't want her sorrow to extend to her original family. So she just bears with it and she puts up with it and she, you know, she continues to play along. And this kind of insanity needs to stop. Just a couple of weeks ago, I heard of a sister who, uh, you know, came, for, they, they married her in Pakistan. Like they, they, they moved to Canada after the marriage, right? The guy came from Canada, he was a programmer, of course, what else is he going to be? So, you know, so they got married in Pakistan and they moved back and they're treating her like garbage, right? Like absolute garbage. She doesn't even eat at the same table with the rest of the household, right? And she's living with three other of his brothers. Her house is basically a room. She used to live large back in Lahore or whatever. You know, she was living in a big house, dad took care of her and now she's living in a room. And going outside of that she feels uncomfortable because his brothers are always around and he's always at work. And the mother-in-law treats her like garbage. And she couldn't take it one day because she actually ate something from what was supposed to be the mother-in-law's special meal or something. And the mother-in-law just starts yelling at her and tells her, you know, I wish you were dead, why don't you eat these pills and just get, you know. And she said, you know what, I will. And she says, yeah, go ahead, please, relieve us. And she did, and she took all those pills. And, you know, they had to call 911 and, you know, social services or whatever version of it they have in Canada came in. And they're, the family is now under investigation for, you know, this kind of psychological abuse. And then they call the imam and say, look, these uh, are, are, you know, this girl, I don't know how their parents raised her. She went to the kuffar for help. And I was like, Allahu Akbar, sister, go to the kuffar for help. What are you talking about? <laughs> Who's the kafir here? For God's sake. You people need to be in jail, you know? Yeah.